Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I am making a very buttery bar. I'm making triple butter soap today. I'm so excited and I'm using this uh, raw mango butter that I got from Amazon. Um, normally I put cocoa butter in most of my soap recipes and sometimes I do shea. Um, so cocoa and shea will be in there along with my mango butter. That's my triple butter. And for the liquid portion, I'm gonna do buttermilk. So we're gonna butter this up all over the place. Big stick of butter. So it's gonna, it's so moisturizing and wonderful. And um, so anyway, that's the base recipe. And for the fragrance, I'm gonna be using Nature's Garden Indian Summer. And it just, I don't know, it smelled kind of like it would go with a buttery bar, just kind of, because mango, shea, and coconuts are all sort of tropical to me. And so, I don't know, Indian summer. That's what we're using for the fragrance. For the color, I'm gonna do gradations, three colors, because it's triple butter. I kind of want to get the theme across. I'm gonna use this matte yellow oxide from Wholesale Supply Plus, which is Crafter's Choice. Um, and then I will just add a little, so we'll do a base yellow on the bottom and then I'll do like a teaspoon of titanium dioxide and then two teaspoons for the top. So we'll kind of gradiate up and make it lighter as we go. So hopefully we'll have definitive colors to sort of signify our triple butter. So this is gonna be a really luxurious bar. I'm gonna pull everything together, get my hair pulled back and we will make some triple butter soap. Also, if you enjoy watching my videos, please consider hitting the like button and subscribe and the bell for notifications. And I'm on Instagram and Facebook, so you can check that out too. All right, so the groundwork is done. I've got my buttermilk lye solution here with uh, Tussa Silk Fibers and Sodium Lactate going on. In here, I've got my organic colloidal oats, my kale and clay, a little buttermilk powder, and uh, the fragrance. That's what's in here. And now I'm going to go ahead and add my matte oxide pigment to this entire batch and then I will split off and start adding um, my titanium dioxide to lighten the layers but I want the whole thing to start out with a nice base color so let me put that in and blend it into my oils here and see what color we get I may add a little more we will see <laughs> All right, that is a gorgeous buttery yellow for my bottom layer. So I'm happy with that amount of the oxide. Okay, and I'm gonna run my buttermilk lye solution through the strainer here because this is homemade buttermilk and it does have uh, some little chunks of actual butter in it that I um, don't necessarily want in my soap. It's just a little thick and chunky, so I'm just gonna run it through my sieve to get it nice and smooth, no chunks. And now I'm gonna hand stir this to get it emulsified and then we will split off for our first layer, which is actually I'm gonna pour straight out of here because I want it to be um, the darkest color on the bottom. We're gonna go lighter as we go up. Actually, I'm gonna pour it off and then I'll pour it in. Sorry, don't mean to sound so convoluted, but that's how, I had, these have the little measurements on here and I want sort of three equal layers so I can kind of give a ballpark guesstimate of what we've got going on for each layer. So I'm gonna pour off my first layer even though I'm not gonna add titanium dioxide to it. All right, I think we've reached emulsion. So I'm gonna go ahead and split off the amount that I want. There we go. That should be close to a third of this. Actually, a little more. There we go. All right, let me set that off to the side. And now that already has the color, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick blend this and get a nice trace on it and get it poured into our mold here. Let's get our first layer poured in. And I'm gonna let this set up for a little bit and then I'll come in and make a little spoon texture on it before we um, pour our next layer 
just for a little dimension in there. And I don't need to scrape this out too much because I'm just going to be pouring more soap in there. All right. Let's let this set up. And while that's setting up, I'm going to go ahead and split off the rest here and then I will start adding my titanium dioxide. Turn this so I can see the measures. So here is my, this is water soluble titanium dioxide here and I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to split this up between the two batches. So I don't think I need to measure two, I'm just going to do one dollop there and I'll do the rest in there. And this will be my top layer. That's how we're going to roll with it.